Ah, oh, New Jersey. What's up, everybody? What's up? How you doing? What's up? Where are you from? Um, Scranton. Did you just curse at me? Oh, did you just cur you did it again? <laughs> you curse all you want, by the way, because they're gonna have to bleep the <laughs> out of it. <laughs> Sorry. Buying just for the title alone. What's all this? <laughs> Let's do it. You might not be able to use any of this. Just letting you know. Hi! I can get inside door. Because I can. I don't know if you guys noticed the sign of his internet. Alright, just make sure that you guys know in lieu of a coffee shop, then I'll probably just make coffee okay. once they get here or whatever, so. We'll get into that another run or two. Just a, you know, nice bag of like Starbucks or something. I'll get some strong black coffee going. Yeah, Cause good. Because the, the coffee in the hotel was a joke. <laughs> if I can see through it, that's not coffee. That's <laughs> tea. And I don't drink tea. No. You know, God bless them, they try. You know, they really do. They put those, those weird, like little one-shot coffee machines in there, but it's not a Keurig. It's one. It's like everything's plastic. You know, it's like the Kia of of coffee machines, really. And uh, the, they'll give you the Lavazza or whatever, which I don't get. Unless you suck on the bag, you're not getting anything out of it. It doesn't taste like anything. I don't. You might as well suck on the atmosphere. Dumb. I'm a coffee snob. I don't care. <laughs> You no, know, you have your routines, you know, you get up in the morning and get off the bus and you go to find the cleanest toilet first, you know, number two on the bus, and then you find the coffee. And then, you know, you get your bearings and you see what the lay of the land is, what venue you're at, and you just kind of get in your groove, go up and grab, I go up and grab a bass and start playing a little bit and wait for a sound check, do sound check and, you know, hang out in these alleys right here and live the glamorous, you know, rock star life. I basically told myself I will never wear my mohawk up ever again because there was a dude, he's got to have a tattoo that says DB somewhere because he was the worst dude on the planet. Head to toe and Ed Hardy weirdness. Giant mohawk and I was just like, wow, how the mighty have fallen, man. <laughs> what are you going to do, man? It sucks. But what do I know? I'm wearing corduroys. This is the first pair I bought in 20 years, <laughs> you know? And I just like the fact that they were so obnoxiously orange brown. People are either gonna love these or piss them off. My family is the latter. Like, they hate these pants, so I wear them as much as I possibly can. There's a deep, searing hatred in the Benici family for these pants. It's, it's almost adorable. Roy Mayorga, yes. Johnny Chow. Nice to meet you too. Fuse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That fuse. I like that they have the internet framed out. Thank you, right? I said the same damn thing. I was internet. like, looks like a family portrait. <laughs> yeah. Internet. It's good times, right? That's great. Awesome. <laughs> Oi, babe. So we're doing the time stretching today, yes? Yes, miss. Yeah, just by two beats. Speed it up. Yeah, yeah, just by two beats, man. I think that'll give it that natural. It does need a little bit. bounce, you know what I'm saying? It's just lagging a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna have you sit on these stairs. Oh, here? Are you gonna smoke during this interview? Um, I'm smoking right now, okay. so. Well, we're not killing each other yet. <laughs> so, I guess that's a good sign. This is a Fuse exclusive right here. Jim Root with his new hat. What's all this. News <laughs> <laughs> TV, remember they're following us around? Oh there. yeah, hi, how are you doing today? It's been great, you know, the first couple shows were really, really good. Um, and it seems like as we, uh, as we continue, the nice weather is gonna follow us, so thank God for small favors on that. And how old is it? Okay. 
guess I'm gonna go back to my bus and get some coffee. Because I know there's fresh coffee around there. It sucks. I'll be completely honest, you know. I, I hate touring without my family. Um, it's just where I'm at now, you know. It's, you know, before, like when I was in my 20s, it was, you know, there, there what, you didn't have that, you know. I mean, your foundation was, you know, the basically the, you know, two by two square footage that you had carrying with you. Walk this way. This way. As time has gone on, I've been able to, you know, put together a really stable foundation as far as my life goes, and uh, I've done my best to create a home, not only for myself, but for my wife and my kids. The touring without them is like basically splitting my soul in half. You know, the, I mean, the only real enjoyment I get out of this is the shows, you know? If I could go home every night, I would. It's getting to that point in my life where I'm gonna have to figure some stuff out, you know? Like, uh, I just, is it worth it? Is it worth being away from my son, who's gonna be 11 this year, you know? He's, for the most part, kind of growing up without me, and that's breaking my heart in a lot of ways. Come on in. This is where we live. This is where we're gonna be living for the next uh, month. Thanks for everybody. A nice back lounge. TV. I'm currently reading this book here I just picked up. Love Miles Davis. Starting Ace Fraley's new book, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, his bathroom. Yeah, his shower, which nobody uses. Whoa. Got some Starship Enterprise going on. They give you two fridge. It's great. That's it. Here's our new album, which will be out by the time this probably airs. Yeah, we're just uh, giving it a quick listen to see what it sounds like just on any system. You know, got to test it out that way, see what, how people would hear it on just an everyday normal system. And our, our daughter's pretty young still, you know, she's only a year and a half. And I think she needs to be around a little more stable environment. Honestly, my, my, my wife doesn't like to really come out on tour. She'd rather stay home. It's just kind of not not easy to be on the road, you know. Maybe when she's a little bit older, when she's like three or four, I'd bring her out like for a week here and there, you know, so she can see what daddy does. What's up, man? How you doing? Thank you. Oh, you know. Well, let's go say hi. How you doing? Holy shit. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> they're very excited to be here. Um, you can tell, they're just, they're just exploding. You guys all right? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm in my family. We love you, man. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Your daughter was supposed to come. She loves you, but she's in the hospital. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Call me Corey. This is my favorite man in the whole wide world. Hello? Uh, Corey Taylor, I guess. I guess it's a big deal here on the corner. I don't know if it's a big deal over there, but uh, <laughs> just a reminder that no matter no matter how bad stuff is, it's, it's always temporary. That's what I tell my kids. It's what I tell the fans. You know, you can just get through it. It'll be okay. You know. So, well, you tell her that she's got to get better because when we come back, you know, we'll, we'll definitely we'll try and hang out. Okay. Phone can't handle this much. Awesome. Okay. Oh, come in, come on. I love how this is here. <laughs> like, yeah. Stop. Well, who the f is this holding back? My yeah. friend doesn't believe you're in front of me. Christian. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> What's up, man? This is the world famous Corey Taylor. I'll see you guys later. Hey. All, right. All right? Be good? Thanks. Stay safe? Enjoy. No worries. We'll see you later. Faster than what it was. I'll try that 
the sound check. I'm more actually working on the song. Do me a favor. The second half of the song, like the pickup part, usually at 140, so took it down 98 percent to from 100 percent. Is it on part two? It's on. No, yeah, it's on part two. So is that? Have you not played it a lot yet? Oh, we've played it a lot. We just started to feel like it was just dragging a little bit because it was album speed. So now we're just gonna make it just a hair, the hair faster. Yeah. We haven't played it a lot. I mean, we just started playing it on the last. That's a lot. <laughs> Since January. I mean, it depends on what you compare it to. Well, I mean... We haven't played it as much as we've played, like, 30-30. Mm -mm. Yeah, but enough for us to know that it's, uh... You can go a little bit faster. 2%? 2%. <laughs> I like whole milk. <laughs> like a lot of the bands that I've played with are very heavy in the past few years, like Cavalier Conspiracy, Soulfly, and... It's uh, it's is more. This is metal, but it's got a hard rock element to it. With it's a lot more breathing. It's not so like in your face and crazy. So it's it's nice. I, I like to uh, think of myself as a versatile player. <laughs> you know, I don't even know why I bothered wearing deodorant anymore. And I've switched deodorants like six times. And uh, do you need to try air? I did. I still sweat through it. Dude, I use secret. I do. I use secret, like serious, like extra protection secret. It's dumb. <laughs> Apparently, it ain't strong enough for a man because it ain't working on me. And I'm a man. It's alright though, I got my coffee. So it's all gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be fine. It's okay, the prostitutes will be here later. It's true. The prostitutes blow. A lot of blow. Almost too much blow. Probably about 87% too much blow. You know, if you wanna get in like figures and facts and whatnot. And then we get hopped up, and then we get hopped up, and we have spelling challenges with uh, with prostitutes. That's what we do. That's what we do. Roy Quick, Roy gastroenterologist. Uh, G A S T R O. Enterologist. I get credit for starting it. You can spell it then. No, I can't. Exactly. I at least gave it a go.